You are not listening to this message by chance or mistake, but by the grace of God. We preach the gospel to the masses and help gear up everyone with the word of truth, the Bible. Please stay tuned and I pray the grace of God fall upon you as you listen. Amen. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day. This is GRM, Gospel Revelation Ministry. Welcome to Gospel Revelation Ministry this Monday. We focus on spreading the Word of God, addressing worldly topics biblically. You can learn more about this ministry at grministry.org. I am your host, Yinka Martins, and this ministry's pastor is Pastor Joshua at J. Wally. Good day, people of God. Today we are starting a new series about wisdom, understanding, knowledge, and empowerment. The topics in those series will be Christ, the wisdom of God. The second topic will be be strong in the Lord and power of his mighty. The third topic will be empowerment of the word of God. And the last topic in the series will be empowerment for breakthrough. Today, we are going to start with Jesus Christ, the wisdom of God. Jesus Christ, the God wisdom. Our reading passage with book of Proverbs chapter 8, verse 1 to 25. We read, Does not wisdom cry out, and understanding lift up a voice? She takes a stand on the top of the I.O., beside the way, where the path meets. She cries out by the gate, at the entrance of the city, at the entrance of the door. To you, O man, I call, and my voice is unto the Son of Man. O you simple ones, understand prudence, and you fools, be of an understanding heart. Listen, for I will speak of excellent things, and from the opening of my lips will come right things. For my mouth will speak truth. Wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are with righteousness. Nothing crooked or perverse is in them. They are all plain to him who understands. And right to those who find knowledge. Receive my instructions and not silver. And knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies. And all the things one may desire cannot be compared with her. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence. And find out knowledge and discretion. And the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Pride and arrogance in the evil way. And the perverse mouth I hate. Counsel is mine. And the sound wisdom. I am understanding and I have strength. By me kings reign. And the ruler decree justice. By me prince rules and nobles. And all the judge of the earth. I love those who love me. And those who seek me diligently will find me. Riches and honor are with me, enduring riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, and yes, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I transgress the way of righteousness, and the midst of the path of justice, that I may cause those who love me to inherit wealth, that I may fill the treasuries. The Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I have established from everlasting, from the beginning. Before there was ever an earth, when there is no depth, I was brought forth. When there was no fountain abiding with water, before the mountains it was settled, before the hills I was brought forth. And in this passage, we want to see Jesus on the face of the Old Testament. Jesus, before I go down, I need to slow down a little bit. What is wisdom? What is understanding? What is knowledge? And what is empowerment? Knowledge is what you acquire by going to school, get a skill, and with the experience, that's knowledge. 
understanding is to have importance of that knowledge. You see, you can have knowledge without understanding how the knowledge is about understanding the knowledge. If you understand the knowledge, again, there's a category of understanding. There is facial understanding of the knowledge and deep understanding of the knowledge. As a university and a high school teacher, I know the difference between facial understanding and deep understanding. And that separates people that have A, B plus to D and D minuses or C minus. So our knowledge is about information, gathering information. Then understanding have categories. But wisdom is the effective application of your knowledge and that understanding. If you have knowledge, even if you have understanding and you don't have effective application of that information, you have no wisdom. And empowerment is the benefit that we get from wisdom. Empowerment makes us to do many things. It gives us value for whatever we do. Whatever we do, we outshine others. That's empowerment because of the wisdom that God has given to us. This passage was informed when I was in a conference about 10, 12 years ago. One of the most powerful and senior pastor of the mission was given a seminar on knowledge and wisdom. And God, this man was a PhD holder because he could speak so many languages. It was so much about the knowledge that he put the wisdom into the background. And it was challenging everybody. If you don't, this, you have to do this, you have to do that. And my spirit was grieved because one could have knowledge and still be a fool. And one could have PhD and still be a fool. One may have high school diploma and have wisdom. And which wisdom is bigger than knowledge? So I was a little bit, I was really grieved my spirit. And so I started to, even some of the pastors who were with me in my hotel, we discussed about it and they calmed me down. They were able to say, look, don't worry about it. But my, my spirit was very troubled. And then the second day in the middle of the night, I will have this, encounter with Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit was asking, why are your spirit so grieved? And I told him the same story I just said. And then he directed me to study. And he said something about the mind. He said, it's lack of understanding. Go and study the book of Proverbs chapter 8. So I spent some time on this Proverbs chapter 8, two, three, four weeks, and I consulted with many other pastors and ministers. So the wisdom of God, we will get to that. But you see, in the book of James chapter 1, verse 5, if anyone lack wisdom, let him ask from God, who gave it liberally and without reproach, they will give it to him. So the wisdom can come. If you ask for it, it will sort it. Same thing in the book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 2. It was talking about the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and mighty. It was talking about our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, if we look at the passage that I said we should read today, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 12, and I will suggest that those who are hearing my voice today, if you can study the whole Proverbs chapter 8, it will be for your own benefit. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 12 says, High wisdom dwell with the providence, and find out knowledge and discretion. With our prudence, talk about God. Same thing in the book of Proverbs chapter 8, verse 22 to 25. Was talking about wisdom. The Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way. Before the works of the whole, 
have been established from everlasting. From the beginning, there was no ever on earth where there was no deep and that were brought forth. When there was no fountain abiding with water, before the mountain was settled, before the hill, I was brought forth. So you can see that before the creation, Jesus Christ was be with the God. So when you talk of the wisdom of God, Jesus Christ is the wisdom of God. He was telling us that nothing was created without him being present. So Jesus Christ is the wisdom of God. And the book of John chapter 1, verse 1 to 5 says, In the beginning there is the word. The word was God. Not, and the God was God. He was in the beginning with God. And all things were made through him. And without him, nothing was made that was made. In him we have life. And the light was with the light of men. And the light shined in the darkness. And the darkness could not comprehend it. So that's confirmation again that Jesus Christ has been with God. Is the wisdom of God. Nothing was done without him. Again, the book of Proverbs said, seek wisdom. It's the beginning of understanding. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Book of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 3 says, To receive instruction of wisdom, justice, equity, and judgment. Say, those are the quality of the wisdom. Justice, judgment, and equity. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 12 to 12. We can really understand how Solomon, after he was anointed as king of Israel, how he makes sacrifice to the Lord. For seven days, they were parting. So I'm summarizing. After those things, God appeared to Solomon and asked me, what can I do for you? He asked for wisdom, which is God, Jesus Christ. He gave me wisdom so I can be able to judge this, your great people. Some people say he asked for deep understanding. You see, when you have deep understanding of the world, it's like we have wisdom. But you see, the wisdom is bigger than the deep understanding because the wisdom is the application your knowledge and all that understanding in effective way. And we are told that God gave him everything because he has for wisdom. He got everything, wealth, popularity, everything. There was no king, there was no man like Solomon after him. And so in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 13, what Solomon was writing himself, said, I set my heart to seek and search out by wisdom. Concerning all that is done under the heaven, these burdensome tasks has been given to the sons of man by which they must exercise it. He seek, he seek wisdom. He sought for wisdom. So I'm asking you today to sought for wisdom. Let us sought for wisdom. To the spirit of wisdom, let it fall upon us so that we can live a defective life. We see many born again Christians. Some of them are truly born again Christians, but they are struggling because they don't seek for wisdom. They don't seek for the spirit of discernment, of knowing the good and the bad. So let us seek wisdom and ask the spirit for the wisdom. If you ask for it, God will give it to us. The wisdom of God gets things done. The book of Exodus, chapter 28, verse 3. God gave some certain people, he said, give them the spirit of wisdom to be able to prepare the artisan cloth of the Levites, the Aaron, and others. Same thing in the book of uh, Exodus chapter 31, verse 3. God gave them the spirit of wisdom to be able to do the workmanship of the building, the, the temple of God. So wisdom is very, very important. We already talked about how Solomon was bigger than every other king after him because of his wisdom. What are the benefits of the wisdom? 
Anybody that have wisdom have benefit. Because when you have wisdom, everywhere you go, you surpass your equal. That's why in the book of Hebrews chapter 1 verse 9, it says, because there is no wickedness in us, she has anointed us with the heart of glass to make us better than our company. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 26 says, For God giving wisdom and knowledge and joy to man who is good in his sight, but to the sinner he gives the work of gathering, collecting, that he may give it to the one that is good before the Lord. This is the vanity and grasping for the wind. What is summarizing that if you are if you are wisdom, if you are righteous, people that are just walking, 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 they will gather to give it to you. And it's not new. If you look at the, the book of Exodus, chapter 3, at the toward the end, God was telling Moses, He said, My people will not go empty-handed from Egypt. Whether they are going, they will loot the, the Egyptian. And it happens. In the book of uh, Exodus chapter 12, chapter 13, when they were going, they were giving them their possession. They looted the Egyptian. Because all the things the Egyptians have worked for, they give them to the people of Israel. Foolishly. That is what he's talking about. And same thing, you can see down in the book of uh, Psalm 127, verse 1 and 2, that says, Unless God be the house, the laborer will go on in vain. In the conclusion of this passage today, I want us to seek wisdom. Your degrees, glory to the, to, to the Father's name, I have all the three degrees anybody can boast of. But the more I focus on the wisdom of God, the more I look at self as so stupid with all my degrees, the better I have more revelation about the Holy Spirit. Let us humble ourselves and seek wisdom from God. Seek understanding from God so that we can be an effective leader in the vineyard of God. I pray for anyone hearing my voice today that the spirit of wisdom will fall upon us. It will guide us. It will make us more effective in his vineyard. All the elects, it will make us more effective in every aspect of our life. Seek wisdom. And our life will be much, much better. The book of Colossians chapter 4, verse 5 and 6 says, Walk in wisdom toward those who are outside. Redeem time. Let your speech always be read with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer each one. Walk with wisdom. I pray for everyone hearing my voice today. I believe to walk with the wisdom of God. I believe to walk with wisdom. I believe to dedicate ourselves to the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ. Because it's the way, the truth, and the light. I believe to walk in the wisdom so that our life will be much better. We bring, we bring sunshine into the darkness of many people. I pray for the grace to walk in wisdom. The grace to to give people liberty, the grace to speak the truth, the grace to lift other people out of their misery, the grace to set the captive free. I pray for all of us that the spirit of discernment will fall upon us and be able to achieve greatness in the fires of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible said in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, says, For God so loved the world as gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Brethren, if you have not given your life to God, this is an invitation for you to surrender your life to God. Confess your sin. 
ask for forgiveness and let Jesus Christ be your Lord and Savior and you'll be saved. After you have confessed your sin, ask for forgiveness and take Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Speak to your pastor. Do your baptism, immersion baptism and pray for the power of Holy Spirit to fall upon you and you will be a born again Christian and you will be saved in Jesus name Amen Thank you for listening to today's message If you'd like to learn more about this ministry please visit grministry.org or call us on +2 